we were all upstairs and I was chatting away and I suddenly noticed that there was no Camilla and no Charles upstairs. So this disturbs me. So I, I make my way to go downstairs again. I know what I'm going to confront myself with. Try and stop me from going downstairs. Then I don't go down there. I'm just going to find my husband. I go downstairs and there's a very happy little threesome going on downstairs. Camilla, Charles and some other man who I don't even know. Chatting away. So I thought, right, this is your moment. So I went and sat down and joined in the conversation as though we were best friends. And I said, uh, Come on, I'd love to have a word with you if it's possible. And she looked really uncomfortable, put her head down. She said, Oh, yes, fine. And I said to the two men, OK, boys, we just have a quick word with Camilla and uh, I'll be up in a minute. And they shot upstairs like chickens with no heads. And I could feel upstairs all hell breaking loose. What is she going to do? So I said, come on, let's sit down. So we sat down. And I was a terrified mother. And I said, come on, I'd just like you to know that I know exactly what's going on. And she said, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, I know what's going on between you and Charles. And I just want you to know that. And she said to me, very interesting, she said to me, you've got everything you've ever wanted. All the men in the world fall in love with you. You've got two beautiful children, what more do you want? And I didn't believe what she said anyway. So I said, I want my husband. And she said, well, and she looked down the whole time. I said to Camilla, I'm sorry I'm in the way. I obviously am in the way. And it must be health for both of you. But I do know what's going on, don't you? And I can do it. In the car on back, my husband was over me like a bad rash. I cried like I've never cried before. It was anger. It was seven years of pent-up anger coming out. Cried, cried, cried. I didn't sleep that night. And the next morning I woke up and I felt different. Shift, tremendous shift. I'd done something, said what I felt. Still the old jealousy and the anger swilling around, but it wasn't so deathly as it had been before. And I said to him at the weekend, three days later, I said, oh, darling, I'm sure you want to know what I said to Camilla. There's no secret, you may ask her. I just said I loved you. And there's nothing wrong in that. 